David, perhaps I can bring you in there and ask you what you expect to see. You know, we're in an inflationary environment at the moment, but what are you expecting in terms of where food prices go from here? So um, it will depend a bit about the weather we are going to have in the coming uh, a month, because that's actually the key drivers. And I think in the poll you have shown, you know, people are aware that climate change is really uh, the biggest threat we have on uh, the food system. And if you even take a commodity like wheat, we are basically back to the level of prices they have before the invasion, because market adjusts, countries adjust, new exporters are coming on the market. Of course, there is sometimes some hidden cost, because what we see is Brazil, for example, is already producing more wheat, but deforestation will increase this year in Brazil to compensate the loss of land we, we have in Ukraine. But overall, I think really we, we have reached on global markets already the, the peak in terms of prices, and it has been a, a severe increase in the last year. Now, at the country level, at the grocery shop, that's where we are going to see uh, still a few more of increase because there is this transmission, you know, these lags between what we see on world markets and what happened um, in your grocery shop, either if you are in Chicago or in Nairobi. But we are also going to see the other effect of the Christian Korean crisis, like the price of oil, meaning that, you know, the food sector in itself is really dependent on transportation costs, both domestically and internationally. And potentially next year, we will have the impact of uh, some shortages of fertilizer in some places. So we can really still continue to see rising prices at uh, the local level. But on the world markets, I will tend to, to say that we have seen the worst of it, except if um, we have more climate shock, in particular in less producing countries.